Hello Boise Braves and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, February 10th. I'm Caden Reynolds. And I'm Mason Standall and these are your weekly video announcements. Mason, did you know that February is the month of love? Yes, see money I did. Very aware. But Mason, what is love really? Great question, man. Let's find out. Love is trusting your partner. Love is having good communication. Love is being who you want to be. Love is honesty. Love is respect. Love is respect. Love is respect. Caden, have you heard about the uh, bond coming up for school this March? Barely. All I know is that if it passes, things are going to be pretty crazy around here all of next year. Well, that's true. Here's Mr. Thompson to explain the details of the bond. Take a look. Hello, Boise Braves. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about an important event that's coming up in our community uh, on March 14th of 2017. Our school board of trustees has elected to hold a, bond, a school bond election, um, which is a means of raising money to help uh, support rebuild and redo many of our school facility buildings throughout the district. Uh, and I want to take a few minutes to talk to you specifically about how that school bond election could impact Boise High. So in general terms, the school bond will raise $172 million, and that $172 million will be used to do projects, facility projects, at every school building in the Boise School District. So specifically at Boise High, there is one project that I want to share with you that this school bond, should it pass, will help us with. And that is the remodel and reconstruction of our existing old gym, as well as our existing music building. So essentially what would take place with the existing old gym is that it would be remodeled from top to bottom and reconverted back into our competition gym space um, with a seating capacity of just over 1,800 compared to our current gym which seats 1,200. So we would gain quite a bit of seating. In addition, all of the locker rooms would be refurbished and redone, completely brand new for boys and girls for both PE as well as athletic programs. We uh, will put in a brand new weight room, a uh, brand new wrestling room, a bunch of coaches offices as well as a um, multi-purpose classroom for PE classes and also to be used as a film room for um, our athletic teams. In addition to that, the existing music building will be remodeled and a second floor will be added. And the gain for us with that project is that we will have four additional classrooms in the music building and be able to turn the music building into a performing arts center, complete with a micro theater um, and lots of practice rooms for our music programs. So there are lots of really, really good things that can come out of this project for Boise High. The other thing I, I want to encourage all of you to do is um, make sure that you and your parents have a conversation about being informed about what's going on as well. The, the total cost for this project at Boise High is about $15 million. I would encourage all of you to take a look at the current state of our existing old gym and music building um, to be informed about the needs that exist there in terms of the state of those uh, facilities and uh, you know uh, making sure that you're informed about what the needs are for Boise High as this Boise School District bond goes forward. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being informed about your community and what's going on at your school. Go Braves. Time for today's club and event news. Kieran, tell us what's happening. I'm Kieran Arnold and it's time for your club and activity report. The following clubs are meeting today. The FCA is in 221, History Club meets in 504, the Earth Club is in 205, and the GSA is in 524. Additionally, Representatives from BSU and the Army National Guard will be outside the cafeteria at lunch. Don't forget that tonight is the Boise Bands Jazz Night starting at 6.30 p.m. at the Lennon Building. Tickets are $20 each at the door. 
Also, please plan to help support the Boise High Debate Squad by attending their fundraiser at the downtown Chipotle between noon and 4 p.m. on Sunday. 50% of the proceeds will go back to the Boise debate. Finally, any student planning to take an AP exam this spring must fill out a one-page registration form. Please ask your AP teacher for this form ASAP. Well, this has been Kieran, and you're officially up to date. Back to you, Mason. Let's turn things over to Nicholas at our sports desk. Nicholas, tell us the score. Hi, Boise Braves. I'm Nicholas Richter, and it's time to talk sports. Good luck goes out to the boys' sub-varsity basketball teams as they begin district play this Saturday. JV competes at Timberline, and the sophomores will play at Bora. Good luck, gentlemen. More good luck goes out to our wrestlers who are competing in the Grapple Before the Granite at Capitol starting at 5 p.m. tonight. This annual meetup pits all four Boise school districts' uh, schools together with a fight for the finish. Do us proud, guys. Finally, good luck to our club hockey team as they take on a BK at 7.30 p.m. tonight out at Idaho Ice World. Well, that's your sports wrap. This has been Nicholas reporting. Now, back to you, Mason. And now it is time for today's words of wisdom. Famous First Lady Abigail Adams said this about hard work. Learning is not attained by chance. It must be sought for with ardor and diligence. Recognizing this core value is this week's Brave of the Week. The student body gives a shout out to Christopher Patrick. Christopher was nominated for his hard work in school, his participation in the swim team, and his ability to reach out and make everyone feel included. Congratulations, Christopher. Boise High appreciates you. Remember, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. This has been Mason. And Caden. Sharon, what's up? Thanks for watching, Boise High. See you next week. <laughs>